integration of technology in schools has become more prominent with the constant advances in technology. In the future, there will be more and more jobs that employees will need technology skills for. This means that schools around the world need to adjust their curriculum to include more technology education and prepare students for the future. Students need to learn about and experience technology for college and career readiness. Educational technology can be, be viewed as both a tool and a process. Teachers are using various sources of technology tools, such as smart boards, document cameras, tablets, computers, and mobile devices to help them with the process of integrating 21st century schools into the curriculum. The use of these technologies in the classroom can produce benefits to student learning as well as some drawbacks. The benefits that technology can have on students' learning are endless. One benefit of technology is its ability to make learning more independent and personalized for students. Students are able to work without depending on the help of their teachers because the technology has the ability to instantly provide them with resources and feedback to guide their learning. The use of technology makes it possible for teachers to personalize learning to fit the needs and goals of all students in the classroom. Mike Sharples, professor of educational technology at the Open University, can better explain the idea of personalized learning with the use of technology. One of the innovations we've particularly picked up this year is personalized and adaptive learning. So we're all different, we all learn in different ways, and yet most teaching, both in classrooms and online, assumes that we're all going to be uh, taking in information in the same way. Personalized learning adapts not just to people's needs, and their abilities, even to their emotions, to the way in which we feel, whether we're bored, whether we're excited, it can adapt the way in which the teaching progresses based on our individual traits. Educational technology is designed and developed to make learning more efficient. The use of technology in the classroom makes it easier and quicker for students to learn new concepts. Technology allows students to access information easily with the use of the internet and communicate with their classmates and teachers quicker than ever before. Students are now learning with the use of educational video games, virtual simulations, videos, virtual presentations, ebooks, virtual manipulatives, and other technologies, which make learning more engaging and allow students to retain important information more effectively. The video playing right now is a great example of how technology can be used in the primary grades to enhance learning and make it more engaging. Students will remember the visual of the ant to help them learn the sound for the letter A. Teachers who are using technology efficiently and effectively in the classroom keep students engaged while improving their learning. Learning with technology prepares students for the future. It is important to look at the ways that students perceive educational technology because they are the people who are affected by it the most. This graph shows the results of a 2003 study and gives us an idea of how both male and female students feel about the use of educational technology. The graph shows that both male and female students agree that technology has improved some aspects of their education. Both more female than male students found that technology improves their learning. More male than female students believe that technology improves their productivity. Males and females are very close in agreeing that technology links them socially with other classmates and teachers. All students agree that technology helps them collaborate better. Males and females are also very close in agreeing that technology provides them with easier access to the library and other resources to help them with research. This graph shows that students believe technology provides them with many educational benefits. Although there are many benefits to using technology in the classroom, there can also be some drawbacks. One of the main drawbacks of using technology in the classroom is that it can be distracting for students. Having access to the internet for education also allows students access to the internet to check social networking sites or play video games. Students who use the internet for personal reasons in class can be missing valuable learning time. A reporter from Voices of America can explain what teachers think about this distraction in the classroom. Teachers say the digital age has been both a good and bad influence on this generation of American teenagers. More than 2,000 middle and high school teachers took an online survey. Researchers also spoke with teachers in focus groups. Three-fourths of the teachers said the internet and digital search tools have had a mostly positive effect 
on their students' research habits and skills. But 87% agreed that these technologies are creating an easily distracted generation with short attention spans. And 64% said the technologies do more to distract students than to help them academically. Besides from being distracted by the technology in the classroom, students are also not learning basic studying math and literacy skills. The young girl seen in this video is using math tools and her mind to help her complete her classwork. With the use of technology expanding in the classroom, some students might not have the basic skills to use manual tools to complete simple tasks. The use of grammar checkers, spell checkers, and calculators keeps students from practicing the skills that they need to perform these basic functions without technology. Another drawback that many schools face with the use of technology is the fact that technology is not always reliable and is very expensive. Many schools lack the internet infrastructure needed to keep up with the demand for fast broadband and internet access. Learning can be stifled by slow internet speeds, but updating the infrastructure is too expensive for most schools. Slow internet speeds are one of the many barriers that students and teachers face with educational technology. Although students agree that technology can have a positive impact on their learning, they also agree that there are a few barriers to learning with technology. One of the barriers that students face when using technology in their learning is having no internet access. Students who do not have access to the internet at home find it very difficult to, to get their work done because they need to stay at school or find a place where there is internet access to complete it. More females are affected by this than males. Students also find that they lack the time that they need to learn about the technology and then use it to complete their assignments. More females are affected by this than males. Another barrier that students face is that they are not trained well enough to use the technology and there is not enough support when completing the assignments with the technology. Female students are more affected by a lack of training than male students. Students also find it difficult to complete work when they do not have the software or hardware at home to complete an assignment. These barriers that students face all need to be addressed before integrating technology into the classroom. Integrating technology into the classroom has many benefits as well as drawbacks. In order to make sure that you are preventing any barriers that students might face, it is important to do some research before taking the dive and integrating technology into your classroom. Edutopia is a great resource for getting started on using technology in the classroom. The website has a technology integration guide that gives teachers tips about integrating technology into their own classrooms. It also provides resources to keep students engaged in learning with technology. With the right choices and leaders of technology, all students will be engaged in effective technology learning to prepare them for their future in college and their careers.